Uh, we've got cloudy skies over downtown right now, and it's 38 degrees at PDX. Uh, the temperatures are important this morning. Let's take you out to Forest Grove. We're down to freezing at 32, 35 Scappoos, 33 King City, and the big perspective across the state. East the Cascades, generally, we are well below freezing. And at the Oregon coast, we are in the low to mid 30s, which means travel between the Oregon coast and the Willamette Valley is slick this morning. Check this out. This is US 30 at the Bradley Wayside, right uh, west of Rainier. 33 degrees and the snow was coming down there just a couple minutes ago on that camera shot. It looks like we've got a snow covered roadway. We'll switch gears. We'll take you to Highway 26 up in the coast range. Once again, that is snow covered and even at lower elevations like at 500 feet. This is Oregon 6 uh, going into Tillamook County right through uh, up over the Wilson River Summit. This is down at 589 feet and you can see that we've got a snow covered roadway there and, and mind you that Highway 6 gets all the way up to 1500 feet. So Coastal passes this morning are for sure snow covered and icy and the cascade passes. Man, ODOT has got their work cut out for them. Look at that pile of snow sitting out there on Highway 26. They got a lot of cleanup to do there. Uh, east of the Cascades, we've got snow covered highways as well. This morning in the metro area, uh, we've actually had a bit, of a bit of a lull in the precipitation overnight, but you do see some pockets of blue on the map indicating the atmosphere cold enough to support some snowflakes this morning. We've got one more area of concentrated showers now working its way over the Long Beach Peninsula through Clatsop County. That'll continue tracking on off to the south and east. So I think areas Portland and Point South today will see the showers pick up at least over the next couple of hours. There it is. Showers kind of blossoming there offshore. So I'm going to track that area. In fact, it looks like there was a lightning strike there just a couple of minutes ago uh, just offshore of uh, Tillamook County. The overall pattern keeps us cold, unseasonally cold, 10 degrees below average today, and that's why we are, yes, still talking about the potential for low elevation snowflakes this morning. Luckily in Portland and on the valley floor, uh, we are above the freezing mark, but don't be surprised to see a wet snowflake or two early today. Coastal passes will continue seeing snow, and then as we roll the clock into the afternoon, see that yellow dot over Portland? <laughs> Don't get too fixated on exactly where that is in the time here. The point is, is that that's indicative of the unstable air and the fact that we could see a shower or uh, a heavy shower, a hail shower, or maybe a rumble of thunder pop up pretty much anywhere west of the Cascades this afternoon. And then we just rinse, wash and repeat going into Tuesday morning. Again, low elevation snowflakes possible tomorrow and then scattered showers and sun breaks in the afternoon. Snowfall still pretty good up in the coast range and in the Cascades today. We're talking about another probably three to eight inches up at the Cascade Passes. Snow levels eventually inch up to about 2000 feet today and rainfall. Our modeling picking up on the on the disparity here. A tenth of an inch in Portland, four tenths of an inch in Salem. Now there's no way that we actually see that tip of that kind of a gradient. That's just indicating that we could have some heavier showers popping up throughout the day. So just be aware of that. Temperatures start off chilly this morning. We warm up to well, I use that term loosely. We warm up to near 50 this afternoon and then we're back down into the lower 30s tomorrow morning with a snow level at 1000 feet, occasionally lower uh, and then bouncing back up to 50. The remainder of our 70 forecast a little wet for Wednesday, Thursday. We are inching upward in the temperature department heading towards Easter weekend. We are back in the 60s next weekend and we will be right back.